Guys, welcome back to Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're gonna look at the Outdoor Edge Leduc. Nice little knife here. Uh, great little neck knife or small EDC fixed blade. Um, but this is really becoming something that I carry with me a lot and that I'm really enjoying using. So let's check this out, take it out and look at it closer, see how it performs and see if this might be something that's gonna be a good purchase for you. Here's a look at the knife in the sheath. Uh, pretty small package overall. The, if I take the blade out here, the blade length is going to be 2.5 inches and it's going to weigh about 2.4 ounces. So as you can see, it's kind of a modified Tanto in my opinion. It's not quite drop point or spear point or clip point or anything like that. It has this sort of Tanto on the front, but it's rounded. So um, it's kind of half and half. If you really like the piercing ability of the Tanto, um, then this tip is going to do well for you, but if you don't like the sort of almost double-edged feature of a Tanto, then this almost eliminates that. It's still a little jagged, still definitely like an angle there as opposed to a smooth curve, but it's definitely less pointed than a normal Tanto would be, and it definitely does not feel like a Tanto when you are using the knife. Uh, this jimping up here is, I would put, on the very aggressive side. Uh, this is not a knife that you would use for hard use. Um, right here under the handle where it's not coated there in this rubberized handle material, if you try to push down really hard, that definitely bites in your finger right there and would beat it up. Uh, but for me, this is a um, EDC knife. It's going to be in that application, so I'm not going to be ever using it really in a super hard roll. I could if I had to. It would definitely beat up my hand, but the way it is in the task that I'm using it, that really aggressive jimping. I actually like it for an EDC knife because it gives you just that much better of a grip on there. Um, as you can see, the most notable feature is this hook on the back. When I first picked this up at Blade Show, I tried to fit four fingers in there and I was like, well, that's dumb. And uh, the guy from Outdoor Edge actually said, no, you put one behind and then three in the middle. So when you do it like that, it's surprisingly very comfortable. Uh, the bottom part there locks into my hand. I wear a XL or a double XL size glove and that bottom part really locks in there. In reverse grip, super comfortable and if you have this knife in your hand you feel if you were to stab something it is not going anywhere. So a very comfortable knife. Um, I was surprised. I didn't think it would be very comfortable but it's actually good and it rides well um, when I carry it. So we will look at that a little bit more later. but. My main purpose in carrying this is a sort of uh, last ditch or a self defense knife. A pocket knife is always good to have on you but it's hard to draw and deploy quickly. This one is just right there on my belt and I'll show you how I do that. Let's check this out in closer detail, see what it looks like on my belt and see how it performs in some EDC rolls and then some uh, survival rolls if you needed it to perform that way. Guys this is how I've been running this knife on my belt. As you can see, put it over your shirt. You can't even tell it's there, lift it up, it's right there on the front. The nice thing is, is this clip right here on the back, clips right over your belt, and what I really like about it is it can go over my athletic shorts if I need it to. So it's, it's fully rotatable, this can rotate in any, any position that you want it to be. So you can cant it however you want on your belt, uh, or on your shorts or however, and it can ride any way you want. So it could ride on your hip over here, uh, up vertically, but the way I choose to carry it is right here on the front of my belt. It doesn't ever bother me when I sit down or anything and if I ever needed to it's nice and easy to deploy quickly like that. Uh, the most interesting part about this knife I think other than its unique looks is this sheath here. It's a molded plastic it is not a kydex but it has this locking mechanism that I've never seen before on a sheath. So it simply just pulls out and then you slide the knife out um, and then when you put it back in this pushes up and you'll hear the click here locks it back in so it's not ever gonna fall out there's no rattle or anything um, but if you need it to you just pull it right out of the sheath nice and easily so I think that's really interesting and it really gives me some confidence when it's on my belt here I just know that it's really never gonna fall off because of that locking mechanism it's never gonna come out so I can confidently carry it there and be able to deploy it whenever I needed it to Moving on to some EDC tasks now. As you can see, the knife just glides right through the cardboard. Really easy, really smooth. Uh, it gets caught up sometimes on your finger or the uh, grip of the knife, but 
It's really not a big deal, and the function, the utility of the blade surprised me. Even for a short blade, uh, it really didn't bother me, and it performed better than I thought for only a two and a half inch blade. Now this next part, I cut some paper here, and it didn't go through super easily, didn't go through really well, but there was some sticking residue from the tape on the blade, which made it uh, stick on the paper, and I have been carrying this for about a month or a month, month and a half, so there is some wear on the edge, but it's not too, too bad. And it still went through sometimes, but um, it's easy to touch up, or it should be anyway. So I'm still uh, happy with the edge and the performance that it had. All right, so I'm gonna test this knife on this piece of wood, see how it works, see how it feels in my hand. Um, I just peeled this bark off with my hand. Just It rained here last night just to show uh, how soft that is. So that might play a factor in this right now. But let's try it out, see how it works. So and just go on this piece of wood, see how it gets the job done. So as you can see, uh, it definitely made short work of that stick. It's definitely not comfortable though. I can feel some hot spots right here in my hand, right on the palm. I mean, right on the knuckles on the inside there and um, towards the front of my finger where it meets this uncoated part right there. Um, so it's definitely not super comfortable, but like I said, I use this as an, in an EDC roll. So it doesn't bother me that it's not the most comfortable knife to use in survival tasks. but it can get the job done and it will do it fairly well in my opinion if you needed it to. As you can see just huge chunks flying off that wood there made it into the point. This knife is definitely really really sharp. Really will get the job done as I said um, but it definitely beats up your hand. So. My philosophy is that if I ever needed it to, it could do those things. But since I'm not going to be doing those things every day, I'm not too worried about it being super comfortable. Guys, thanks for checking out this review of the Outdoor Edge Leduc. Uh, be sure to go on Amazon, check this thing out. It's right around 25 bucks, so I think it's a really reasonable price range for this knife. Um, again, really, really great knife. I would definitely recommend it to anyone. Especially for 25 bucks, you can just try it out. If you don't like it, it's only $25. But I carry it a lot. I've been carrying it for about a month. So uh, definitely check it out, and be sure to check out Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, a bunch of other websites. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.